Hello everyone, welcome back to this video. Today we are going to be talking about wedding expos. I have my phone, I have my coffee, and uh, we're going to get right to this. I love wedding expos. I've been to so many, it's where I meet most of my clients, it's where I meet most of you, who I chat to, who I talk to, who I love, how I get my business through wedding expos and I felt like some brides and grooms who come to wedding expos don't quite know what to expect. It's kind of overwhelming, you get a whole lot of information, you get a whole lot of pamphlets, unfortunately. So I decided that I'm going to try and shed some light on what to expect when you go to a wedding expo, what you should be doing before you go to a wedding expo, all those kinds of fun stuff. So let's get into it. The first thing you guys are going to need to know about for wedding expos is that there's a lot of people. There's so many people. So what I would suggest is to actually figure out what you want to find at the wedding expo and then just do that. You're more likely to feel less overwhelmed and a little bit more like, all right, Let's, let's do this. Let's hack out this expo and we'll get it done. And you'll be out in two hours. It just doesn't happen that you find everyone you want for your wedding at a wedding expo. I used to think that for myself. I thought that when I was planning my wedding, I could do everything at an expo. It's just not how it happens. It's unrealistic to think that I could have done that. And that's just because you might not find people in your budget range or in the style that you like or even liking them. You might not like them at all. And that kind of stuff all factors into not finding someone. Right. So the second thing you probably need to figure out is specific details about your wedding that you can share with wedding vendors when you go to expos. Such as, where is your wedding going to be located? If you know the general area, so I'm in Sydney, so you could say somewhere like Sydney, Blue Mountains, Central Coast, Southern Highlands, you know, all that fun stuff. If you know kind of the roughly the area you want to get married in, it'll kind of be helpful just so that vendors know how long they have to travel and whether they can actually service that area. Also, if you're getting married in like Hawaii or something and you expect your vendors to go to Hawaii, it's, it's something you need, to, you need to let them know so they can accurately give you a quote. <laughs> or they even, maybe that, I don't know, maybe this wedding vendor is scared of airplanes and they can't fly, in which case then you should not be hiring them. So in that sense, maybe, maybe don't do it. But anyway, you need to have an understanding of where your wedding is going to be at. Then you also need to know your wedding date. Now it doesn't have to be your exact date if you don't know quite yet, but if you have a month or at least a year, that would be really, really helpful. And that's just to help vendors know whether they're gonna be available for your wedding. Say if they have a wedding booking for, I don't know, Finland, between August and September and you wanted to do August and September then obviously that's not going to be fruitful for either of you and you both be wasting each other's time because the vendor cannot do that. Does that kind of make sense? So it's just easier if you know a rough idea about when you're actually going to have your wedding. It helps everybody. Then also highly recommend that you have a wedding email and why is that? It's because when you go to wedding expos you'll be filling in all these contact forms. You'll need your name, your last name, your email address, your phone number, all that kind of fun stuff. And that's just for vendors to get your details so they can contact you later. Especially because we've only got like a minute or two to actually meet you and to know about your wedding, to chat with you. So it's not really the best place to be telling you about our services um, that much. It's just more about us getting to know you and see whether you like us or not pretty much. First impressions. But have your own wedding email so that you can keep everything separate from your personal stuff. Like you don't want your grandma's email about how she's, I don't know, skiing in the Swiss Alps to get mixed up with your wedding florist emails. You know, like your grandma's email is probably more important. So you want to, you, you know, just keep it all organized. I'm a planner. That's what I do. Just do it. And for our third point for wedding expos is that be prepared to be bombarded with phone calls and emails straight after because that's that's just you know how we get in contact with you how we get to chat with you how do we get to know about more about your wedding I mean if you think about it this is our livelihood and we just want to you know see if you'd like to work with us and it means nothing like we're not trying to harass the hell out of you and if we are harassing you um, maybe don't go with that with that vendor but if we're sending you emails it's just because we liked you and we wanted to hang out with you and we wanted to hear more about you 
So don't be afraid of that. Be prepared for it. Yeah, it's just how our marketing strategy works when we go to expos. It's just what wedding vendors do. And then the fourth thing is when you're at wedding expos, everyone expects discounts. There's usually discounts there, okay? There's always some kind of deal happening and discounts. Um, so you want to take advantage of that. Not everybody has deals. It doesn't happen all the time. And wedding expos is the best place, best, best place to get wedding deals. One of the biggest hints I want to let you guys in on about wedding expos as well. So I guess it's the fifth hint that I'm giving you, or the fifth, the fifth note, the fifth thing, whatever. It's the fifth whatever. Is that what you're really trying to find when you're trying to find a wedding vendor is someone who you can connect with. Someone who you think can understand what you want from your wedding, how you want your wedding to be like, your vibe, your style, all that kind of stuff. You want to find someone who you connect with and who you think you're going to get along with really, really well. And I say this because your wedding vendors make up your wedding. That means if you've got a good wedding vendor group, you're like set. Your wedding's going to be phenomenal. And that's because they're really the backbone of your wedding. While you're off partying with your fiance slash husband, slash bride, slash whatever, you're gonna want your wedding vendors or your team to be able to support you through that whole wedding process so that you don't need to worry about it. That's, that's simply it. What it boils down to is your gut feeling. If you feel like in your gut that you really, really like this person and you really think they're gonna do a good job, I would say hire them, go with it, go with your gut. Or if you're not sure, meet with them, chat with them, see if that you like them, and then, you know, weigh it up. But the biggest thing, the biggest thing is whether you like them or not because you're gonna be working with them for the whole day that whole day especially a photographer oh my gosh especially a photographer who is literally with you the whole day he will not leave your side she will not leave your side they, they won't so you need to make sure that you like them you like their jokes you like their music all that fun stuff so that's it for this video I hope you really enjoyed it I hope you learned something let me know in the comments below if you did and uh yeah i'm still happy to help you out if you have any more questions just give me a yell on any of my social medias anything i like to talk and i keep spilling coffee everywhere i'll see you guys next time Bye.